All right, so we got the first Ascender official Freyna character gameplay trailer. Let's get to video. All right, now, if I'm being honest with you, right? I... Having endured harsh trials through sheer force of will, Freyna has now gained the ability to handle well, toxic substances beyond this? anything imaginable. But she she, she stop strives to overcome her trauma, but never shows weakness. Do as I say if you want to live. Freyna, who expertly controls Venom, throws toxins at enemies to create a toxic swamp. Anyone who steps into the swamp becomes trapped like a rat. Watch your feet. If overexposed to her own toxins, Freyna triggers defense mechanism, entering the plague body armor state that significantly increases her defense. Don't get close. You should be careful around me. Be careful not to anger Freyna. If hit by her venom baptism, you'll immediately fall into a state of trauma. Any last words? Freyna sprays toxic substances directly from the arch factor cylinder on her left arm, poisoning enemies and causing them to writhe in pain as they slowly die. This will hurt a little. Poisoned enemies become Freyna's prey. Seeing enemies stagger from the poison increases her attack. I'll dissolve you all. This is going to be painful. Okay, now listen. Let me say this. Because, first of all, you know, the narrative, she just bumped, she just said, you know what, man, forget your commentary. Your commentary literally, it, it doesn't matter. Your commentary never matters to begin. That's, that's, what the, that's what she basically just said. Now, let me talk about this. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I literally just installed a game that I've, um, it's like some other type of game. Like, it's like a DJ game, whatever, that I actually just wanted to play. It's, it's a game that I just wanted to, like, you know, sit down late at night and just play, right? It's nothing too, like, sweaty, whatever. It's like one of those, like, simple games, whatever. It's like a music game. Don't worry about it. But I can't lie to you. Whenever I was actually searching for that game, I did see the first Ascendant. Um, and I can't lie to you. I was like, hmm, you know, should I get this? And then, you know, um, I didn't even know the game was free. Um, now, if the game did cost money, I mean, yeah, I would have bought it. But, like, I didn't even know that the, that the game was free. How come nobody told me that the game was free in the first? Bro, huh? I didn't even know that. Now, let's be real here. I think the last three, um, two to three characters that we actually checked out, they were support characters. So basically, they were like, you know, yeah, cool, they can attack and everything like that. But their main, their main, um, I guess, power or like their main ability, that's the word. Their main ability was like helping, like, you know, like the teammates out. So that's, you know, dropping armor and ammo. I think there was one character that dropped uh, armor, ammo, and like, uh, I think like their ultimate was like, uh, making everybody like like stats go up or something. It, it was crazy. So um, all three of those characters, by the way, if you guys can just check my last um, first Ascendant video, all those characters were support. So I'm thinking in my brain, I'm like, all right, cool. Like there's no way. Like, how many characters are there? Because if I have three characters, that's all support. Then, I mean, obviously that could just be for that video and there could be more characters or whatever. But I'm not expecting... You know, I'm not expecting, like, this many characters to be in the game. That's first of all. Number two, I'm not even expecting defense. She's a defensive type. So, basically, like, bro, she's like, all right, cool. I got this little green Nickelodeon slime. If you step in it, you can get stuck. And then, like, you know, obviously, like, the teammate, they can, like, you know, shoot you down or whatever. So, I'm going to be honest with you. A, a, a lot of, um... A lot of games don't have this. A lot of games don't have that uh, that defense... Uh, type a lot of them just have like that tank type they have like the um obviously the uh the, the support type they have the uh the damage type they never really have like the defensive type thing i'm gonna be honest with you i actually like that a lot because when a game has like a defensive type thing that's just it, it to be honest with you it lets me know that like first of all the games i wouldn't say i wouldn't say that the games are long but like the games are very competitive and i like that a lot um, because it, it, it's not just a, okay, cool. I can just outshoot you or my team can just outshoot your game. No, it's okay. I got some shooters on my team. Plus I got some supporters on my team and I have some defensive like types on my team too. So don't think you can just like try to shoot whatever. I can just send my defensive, whatever guys, whatever. And they can come through and they can drop Nickelodeon slime and trap you guys. And we'll, you know, get more kills than y'all because, you know, they trapped you. Whatever. Like, it's just crazy. So if I'm being honest with you, I was definitely not expecting her to be some type of defensive type of uh, character. I didn't even know that was in the game. So the fact that that's in the game, uh, that definitely surprised me a lot. I actually got to play the game. I can't lie to you. I actually got to play the game. But before I actually play the game, I got to get uh, all the information I can because you guys know me, bro. I I'm kind of like, um, 
what's that one superhero call? He kind of like preps for like his, oh, bat, I'm really kind of, I'm, I'm kind of like Batman, uh, if you will, to be honest with you. I kind of got to, you know, prep and, you know, see what everybody's ability is, you know, before I hop in. You know, I don't just, I don't just get butt naked and just go crazy, you know, in the game. Like, I don't do that. I mean, I used to do that, you know, like the young, wild and free, you know, 10 year old version. I used to just go in and just, you know, and just get destroyed. I used to just get, you know, just, just beasted. Um, that would never happen again. As a matter of fact, I'm prepping for everything. Um, so whenever that, whenever I see a character comes through, just know, oh, okay, wait, I, bro, I watched the video on you. Okay, I know what you do now. See, you, you get what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of like, it's kind of like prep time. It's kind of like what Batman do, you know? So at the end of the day, uh, all I want to do is just be great. So forgive me um, if I go off um, and, and react to every single character's um, ability, whatever. Just know I'm prepping for whenever I actually play the game. So comment down below, man. What is your favorite character in the game so far? Cheers, gonna face him out. And oh, like the video, subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you guys didn't. And.